Whoa! Perfume? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Out of this big house, I've been confined to this small little place in the garage. And now she's putting her stuff in there? Honey! Where's mom? She just left. She just left? Yeah. I come back into the house and the snake, Chris, has snuck out. She's afraid to confront me. What are you doing? Cleaning my helicopter off. Why are you in here cleaning it? Mom uh, kicked me out of the garage. So, I gotta clean this thing. That's not fair. That's like your space, your little cave. Yeah. So why don't we like take over some of her space? This could be good. If I can't put it in the garage, all my stuff, maybe I should just scatter it around the house. <laughs> Let's go do it. I like that idea. Just leave that one right there. She'll love it there. Okay. Chris absolutely loves her office. And uh, I think it's time to take it over. I'm gonna use this as my new garage. We should leave it with just my stuff in here. Perfect. When Chris comes home, <laughs> Look out! I know, we're just gonna dump the golf balls out. Excellent idea. Son of a bitch. Bruce! You put a motorcycle in my house? Bruce! She's here. She's here. New Please Porsche? Not. Yeah. I noticed you uh, <laughs> it's a bad copied boy. my color, no less. Steel gray? Well, Good choice. I don't know if I quite oh copied my God. it. Copied it? I don't know. Hi, Therapy. Oh, you look nice. Well, that car is beautiful, Bruce. It is nice. Oh, my God. Yeah. Isn't it great? I yeah. mean, you needed that. I, well, that's what I needed. Yeah. I needed yeah. my car. Let's go look at it. Well, let's do it. Fine, let's do okay. Oh, twist let's his it. arm. Yeah, twist my arm. Bruce is so excited anyone wants to go see his car and pay some attention. I have not. It's a beautiful automobile. I have not bought a nice car, or had a nice car, in 34 years. Yeah, you deserve oh my it. God, yeah, here we go. all right. 34 years. <laughs> but anyway, this thing's made, the RS is really made for uh, kind of the bad boy you the know, track edition, right? Well, it's it is it's a road racer, you know, and it's about probably as close as they've ever made to what their actually GT race cars are. And uh, no back seat, like a full cup car. Yeah, uh, and no, yeah, no back seat. Uh, just basically a two seater, uh, 450 horse. It's probably as close as I've ever gotten to what a, a race car feels like on the racetrack. Really? With lightweight stopping ability, turning ability. Um, look at the rubber that's got on that sucker. Yeah, big, huh? It's the widest, yeah, widest Porsche. Look at, look at that puppy. Have you it's seen the back the of my wheels? I mean, I had them upgraded to, nine, you know, 19s in the front, 20s in the back, but they're 13 inches wide. I mean, yeah. they're, they're huge. But, you it know, is. our cars are a bit on the different side. A lot of people kind of get on my case, you know, Courtney and whoever, about having all these sports cars. But what they need to understand is I don't go out anymore. I don't drink anymore. I don't get into trouble. And this is the one thing that I have for myself. Yeah. I feel like you got so much you going gotta find, on. You got to find some. Uh, yeah, well, I got lots of toys, and I got lots of things. Right, well, to you have your helicopters my, and stuff. I got my RC helicopters. I got my golf. I got I'd my love hobbies. to go do something with you one day if it's either you know get out to a car track, a dirt bike track, whatever it is. You know what I mean? Even like the trophy carts, go karts, race carts, something just to get out there and have a good time when the mm. women are driving us crazy. Yeah. All right. So who are we playing with? Lisa and Liz. What inspired you to do this, all of a sudden, tennis? I don't know. I just felt like I don't get out and do anything. I live in my office. What is that doing? Ugh. What oh, and this guy's going like a million miles an hour. Who? That guy. Ugh, this guy is like driving on the wrong side of the road. What guy? That guy. It's oh, crazy. He yeah, he, he is. He's over there going through the bump. He wasn't even he was on his okay, side of the road. Okay, well, yeah, he was kind of on my side oh of the my road. God, I cannot drive with you. So freaking slow that 
I mean, we'll be home in about three hours. Honey, just chill out. I can't Go chill on. out. When somebody's, like, driving irresponsibly, I can't chill out. Honey, they weren't irresponsible. They were fine. They weren't fine. So cute. Thank you. Chloe. Huh. Let me see your hair. I noticed it. Do I get the Kim K seal? Not yet. Uh, not yet. It's like all stripey. All that should be dark. We're going to the wellness kitchen. Hello. Uh, I'm hitting the men's room. Okay. I'll be right back. Before he comes back, I just want to tell you I want to have this cooking class so we can learn how to cook some things for himself. Mom, I'm just worried about him. Today, I have a backup plan. Instead of inviting one child, I'm inviting the whole family so that if somebody storms off, I have extras to take over. Like such a lady today. Like a really? I was trying to be a whore. Why are we having a, like a sit down dinner? Because guess Feel what? It's a cooking class. You're going to love it. A My cooking sweet. class? Yeah. Honey, this is why I had all these girls so I didn't have to cook. Oh. Hello. Hi, everybody. My name is Paulette Lambert, and I am your chef this afternoon, and I'm also your nutritionist. Oh, good. So, everybody ready to cook? I should probably be on the golf course, but. Well, let's cook. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. We're let's ready. We this. came ready. Oh, look at I've this. I've been wanting to do this for so long. Kind of think about what you'd like to do, and we'll get started. I'll make the soup. Um, Bruce, do you want to make a fish? I can do this fish. I'll make yeah. the spinach. Is this the baking dish? That is the baking dish. Kim, you're looking very domestic. I am getting married. i got to figure it out. Yeah. You can just kind of pile it in and start flipping it over when it starts to wilt a little bit. And now put it all in here. Do you know what you're doing, Bruce? It says there's okay. some, oh, preheat the oven. So uh, we okay. have to preheat the, the oven oven's and the grill. Okay. And then we're going to dip each piece of bok choy in the I marinade. I, I got it. Place on the Honey, grill. I got table. it. Is that enough um, marinade in there? Mm-hmm. For the bok choy? I got it. Okay. Just checking. You want to put a pot holder underneath that for me? That's beautiful. Dinner is ready. Ooh. Fancy. Okay, Let's open up a restaurant, guys. I'll have him. We're so good at this. Your fish is good, Bruce. It is good, isn't it? Good. I'm really proud of us, guys. Me too. Me too. You guys. Who made the cod? Bruce? What is it? A hair. And that is like your Chloe. type of hair. I made a fish, but I think we made a different one. Bruce, maybe if you'd cut your hair, this wouldn't have happened. Uh, awkward. All right, let's go. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, that was good. Yeah, really I would good. have to say one of the reasons why I enjoy living out in Malibu and being a park is because you have a tendency to be very kind of controlling. Mm -hmm. And I just want you to know that I don't need that in my life. I I'm just fine on my own. And I kind of see what you're doing here. What you're, am I doing here? You're worried about me, but honestly, I'm fine. Of course I'm worried about you. When we meet, when I was 40 years old, for the first 40 years, I did a lot. I'm a caretaker. I want to take care of him, and I always will. But sometimes my intentions come across maybe a little too strong, especially now that Bruce and I are living together. So it just might be better to let him fend for himself. Well, you're a but good I'm sport be for showing up. So thank you for that. Boys, uh, Bert and Brandon uh, are, you know, kind of living the single life. They got all the toys. Uh, they're out there having a good time, although Brandon is engaged. But, uh, you know, they live life to the fullest. Do I look like a, a rock and roller here? Definitely. You know, do I look like a rock and roller? You're doing pretty good. No, we're gonna make something. Um, okay, we're gonna make something up. Right, you want blues? You want? You want? Yeah, we gotta go bluesy. Yeah, I'm gonna get that soulful kind of guy. You know. All I do is carpool. Yeah. And ain't no fun. Yeah. yeah. Kendall and Kylie in the back seat asking questions. <laughs> 
Are we there yet? Yeah. Are we there yet? It's time to carpool again. Cause they gotta come home. Yeah. There we go. There we go. And they gotta go to school. That's right. They're done with school. Now it's time for some homework. Woo! Yeah. But unfortunately, Kendall's in sixth grade, <laughs> and she's already passed me up. <laughs> once, you got, <laughs> once she got past <laughs> fifth grade. Yeah, once she got past fifth grade, I was lost. She's teaching you. Yeah, she's yeah. teaching me now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was great. I had props for me, I'll tell That's you what. That's right, it was for me. Was <laughs> Absolutely, I had a good, uh, good guitarist, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. Song. Yeah, like let's go shoot some pool. Rock and roll, baby. Hey. hey, I made it. Sorry I'm a little late, but I uh, actually went to see that sleep doctor. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, good. What did he say? It's common for this to happen, you know, especially as you get a little bit older. And he said there's really not much he can do unless I go to one of those, like, sleep clinics. What exactly do they do at the sleep clinic thing? You go there. You've got to show up at 8.30. And uh, they put you in a room all by your little lonesome. They videotape it. They hook wires up all around you. I don't know how you can sleep with all the damn wires. I'll have a hard time with that. And then they monitor you all night long. You know, it seems kind of ridiculous to me. But, you know, I've been working so hard on this relationship with Chris. That I don't know, what do you think? Absolutely, you should, 100%. Even if it's just for her, you should do it, honestly. Well, Chris and the girls are going to San Diego to see when? MJ. Soon? Soon, yeah. Maybe I can schedule it around them going down there. It's one night. It's not like you're getting a great night's sleep anyway at home. Might as well try it. Yeah. All right, I'll do it. I'm excited. You got to show me the tapes. That'd be interesting. Yeah. I've never seen myself sleeping. That'd be no, kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Brucey. Hey, babe. Hi. <laughs> Are you moving? We're moving in. How are you guys doing? Oh, good, how are you? <laughs> I knew you were probably hungry. You've been working so hard. Oh, thank salad. you. That's nice of you. I know, I know. You're the only one who had all these boxes to move and didn't call me to help with the boxes. No, I mean, we're fine. We're, we're just kind of <laughs> like... You kind of do it all on your own. I do everything, like, all with Sid and I. Now, did you get your cars yet? Because yeah. I know you borrowed our cars. Yeah, they're dropping it off on Friday. Now, Mom just got the new one, still has this one, but got a Does new one. Does it drive better? She hasn't let me drive oh, it yet. Oh, you're not allowed to drive it? No, not allowed What a drive. crappy life you live. I know. Do you even know you've had these? No, I don't like burgundy corduroy. So why do you have them? I don't know. Like Why don't you like ever in. go through your closet? These are me, man. These are you, 70s. No, yeah. They These are, are the 70s. They are the 70s. What do you think? You could hem them if you want them. I'm not into burgundy corduroy. Burgundy and if Lamar's corduroy. not into it, I'm not into we it either. We don't do burgundy oh. corduroy. Yeah. Like, that's not hot. I remember when I was in college, in the late 60s, bell bottoms were in. Yes. And I remember I got my first pair of bell bottoms. I thought I was so cool. You probably were. Yeah. Yeah, in Lamoni, Iowa, I had bell bottoms. Okay. Kind of scary. Eat your salad, you need the energy. Um, uh, I'm gonna go back to the other house. Do you want these corduroy pants? No. I know you want them. Burgundy corduroys. I could see it all over your face. Uh, summertime, I don't need it. Love you. Love you, thanks for the salad. Bye. Chloe. Hi, Brucey. When did you get home, my baby? Now here I am in your house. Mm. What are you unpacking or uh, yeah. repacking? No, I'm kind of doing a little of both. How do you like staying at Casa de Odom? <laughs> Casa de Odom is uh, actually it's been very quiet, kind of nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's really nice over here. I like it. I'm going now to do um, Kimmel, and then I'm going to go to dinner at Mom's. Are you going? Probably not. Bruce, why aren't you going to dinner at Mom's? Uh, it's the whole well, family's pretty... gone. Well, I know, but I've been here what day, two days now. I can't even remember. 
been a long time. You just love it here? Yeah, and uh, nobody's called, nobody really. To be honest with you, nobody really cares if I'm there or not. And, That's and not true, though, because I care. I well, you care. care. Okay, I will give you you care. But, but I want you to come, and I'm going back and forth to Dallas, and it's like I would like for you to come, and you should say, like, you guys, like, I've been gone for two days, and no one's even called to check on me. No one's noticed. Like, it hurts my feelings. Like, you should articulate and voice, like, when something bothers you. I tried that. And uh, usually nobody listens, or mom doesn't care. And she's so busy doing her thing. And you know, mom's got the big ego. And I'm fine. No, but you're not fine. Like you don't want to live your life alone. And when Lamar and I come back here, you're just gonna get still, like you're gonna live here forever. You're gonna be the new Rob. No, no, I'll go back eventually. But I just when mean, it's time. Right, but like when Lamar and I like. I always say communication is key. Like without communication, it's like, what do you have? Okay, I gotta go to Kimmel and then I'll see you at dinner, promise? I'll promise to okay. think about it. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to my last diary cam. Um, so Bruce put it together an amazing romantical weekend with my mom. So I got a chef coming to cook. I got- Oh my God. Yeah. I knew you had these skills. I know, I have tremendous skills. Bruce always does really nice things for my mom. He, you know, always comes through. Is there anything I'm missing? I think you're good. All right, I'm gonna get her nude and chase her around the house. They got married after three months. Um, so I'm sure he was, you know, pretty romantical from the beginning. All right, the chef is here. When we're done with dinner, get out of the house. He's always really good, always been a good guy. I've always loved him. I've known him uh, since I was two. He took in all his kids. Him and my mom were definite instant classic. Baby, I love you no matter how old you get. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I know you would. Bruce isn't the only romantic uh, person in our family. I'm also very, very romantic. Adrian was in India for Valentine's Day, and so I called the uh, hotel, and they put um, literally like a bed of flowers, like like that high, no lie, all over the entire floor, the entire bathroom. No matter where you went, everywhere you stepped, there was a, literally beds of roses. Adrian was like crying, it was like, oh my gosh, what did you do? I got major points. Please give a hand for Reggie Bush. Give it up for him, y'all, for putting us together, raising money for New Orleans. While Bruce and my mom were in LA having their romantical weekend, we went down to visit Reggie for a fundraiser in New Orleans. This weekend, that was supposed to be a fun fundraiser weekend, um, ended up becoming a very serious weekend. Is that true that the X is on the doors and the number is how many people that died? Mm -hmm. It's like how many people died or like if anybody was found? It's been like two years and nothing's been done. It makes you so appreciative of what you have, first of all. And second of all, just makes you want to help out more in the community, even if it's, you know, doing the smallest thing. We're donating furniture, so you can pick out whatever you want. Thank oh, you. you are so welcome. To give this family, like, thousands of dollars of furniture, it's probably, like, such a relief off their shoulders that they don't have to, or the mother doesn't have to work for all, to get all this back. It made me just feel really, really good to give back and that we touched at least this one family. All right, so this is my last vlog, and um, it's been, you know, my first blogging experience. It's cool, it's a cool experience to let you guys know what's going on in my life. To see my family on television is is pretty is pretty interesting. It's sometimes embarrassing when I see the things that they do, but for the most part, I get a I get a really good laugh out of it when I turn on the TV and they're cussing each other out. All right, well uh, that's it, everybody. Thank you guys so much, and uh, I hope you enjoyed everything that I've said these last couple months. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon later.
I don't have any car to be full of cards. I'm excited for this, actually. I don't want to talk to people. That's just embarrassing, going up to people and being like, hi, we think you're... Okay, it's not embarrassing at all, but... Mm -hmm. You do me, I do you. I wouldn't know what to say. I wouldn't know what to do. What are you going to say to the person when you go up to them? What I'm going to say, do you want to be a model? I'll make you model. And that's it. Done. But not Peach. even that. You can't get them too excited. You, you can't be like, do you want to be a model? Like for, I'll find you with an agency. Like it's not like that. Hey, not you look kidding. amazing. You look I'm insane. still one of your belly button is back matter. to normal. Me too. I'm 198 right now. So if you want to I'm play not game. kidding. You look insane. Kylie, your belly button is back to normal. That gives me so much. Do you want me to go with you? It's like different. Do you want to go with it looks great. This is gonna be kind of my first photo shoot after Stormy and doing like my first few fittings and getting back into it. It's kind of hard and discouraging. Okay, you're you're looking looking crazy. crazy. It just doesn't. No, it does. Court, Chloe, they're yeah. waiting for us. This is my final hurrah in California. I'm ending it at a Calvin Klein campaign with my sisters. I'm not too shabby. Honey, we probably should order. We'll wait a few more minutes. We'll wait a few yeah. more minutes to join us. We'll wait. Hey guys. Hello. Sorry, How we're late. Hi, Kylie. Hi guys. Well, you look beautiful Doesn't tonight. Doesn't she look gorgeous? You are a superstar. Kylie and I had a little bonding day today. Kylie's a really strong little girl. She's our little angel. We couldn't ask for anything better. But at the same time, Kylie's not going to roll over and play dead for anybody. Kylie, that is so gross. You just drenched it in butter. She's Don't dressed like a 30-year-old and, and eating like an 11-year-old. Not appropriate. Kylie should not be dressed like that. You're dressed like a 30 year old. Team and I don't like it. No. You've got to deal no. with your kids growing older. No, she's 11 years old and she shouldn't be wearing all that makeup and she shouldn't be wearing that outfit. And that's the bottom line. It's over. It's done. My friend Dylan likes the way I dress. Everybody's jumping on me like it's my problem. It's not my problem. It's Kylie's problem. She's got too much makeup on. How old is Courtney when she got a big job? Mom, how old were you when you got a boob job? <laughs> Kylie, we're leaving. I'm you done. just started eating. No, I'm done. I'm Come, Come on. Come on, you're going to make a scene. No, I'm not making a scene. Not only is she wearing all this makeup, but all of a sudden her attitude is changing too. That's not good right now. Let's go. I don't care what everybody else is saying. I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to get her out of here. Chloe, let her out. Come on. We're out of here. What are you doing in here, honey? It's time to get up. Dad hates me. What do you mean dad hates you? He grounded me. Daddy doesn't hate you, Kylie. Daddy just wants you to grow up to be a perfectly fabulous young lady. And he thinks that perfectly fabulous young ladies don't wear makeup to school. Would it make you feel better if I talked to daddy? Yeah? OK. I love you. Don't be sad. I still get to kiss you even though you're growing up. I love you. The next one is made with jello chilies and the alpacas heart. Enjoy. The smelts in your mouth. The dip is cheese and alpaca heart. The what? The what? Alpaca heart. I <laughs> hear that one. What is all this? Plates of just like rocks and then like a little fish in the top. When you're hungry, you don't want that, you know? I just need some spaghetti. <laughs> Mom, but I'm really hungry. You're really what? Hungry. But you know, I just don't know if this is gonna like fill me up. This thing in front of us no, looks Mom, like really I really good. Last thing I have is chips and guacamole on the night. We didn't eat the whole day, and when Kylie doesn't eat the whole day, she's not Kylie. She's a monster. I need a meal. Well, we can't, we can't leave, leave right, right now. now. Play ball, kid. Kylie, hi. <gasps> Brandon! What is this? Um, it's my keys. Oh. Yeah, it's my little puff. Let me see. Oh, that's cool. 
Doesn't make no. Oh. Oh. Who knew he had a face? You didn't know no he had a face? Way. I thought it was just like like this. No, but he a has face. a face. He has a face. Oh, oh hey. hey. What the hell are you guys doing here? Just come to see you. Uh, what are we watching? This is not, you guys don't just come and see me for what, you, what do you guys want. All of us. You guys need money? Dad wanted us to talk oh. to you because oh. of oh. you <laughs> flaking out on him. God. For golf practice. That's why, is he really upset about that? Uh, yeah, he's upset. Oh, well, tell him not to worry. I think Dad gets a little bit more sensitive because than I do, at least. It's like, if you don't show up, I don't really care as much. And I try to tell Dad it's not that big of a deal. It's like, you know, it's just practice. But he gets really upset. He feels like if, he, if you make a plan that you should... I mean, I agree with that. And I, yeah, I'll talk to him about that. I didn't know he was going to be... It was just a practice session. It's not like I was actually missing the tournament. It was just a practice. So I understand that he's very upset about that. But... Well, he takes... He, he needs to take it. He needs to take it a notch down. He also takes golf very seriously. No, I understand that. Just like everything else, you know. So Well, I I play golf for fun. And I was busy that day and I'm sorry that I missed that, but I will call I will talk to him and I'll smooth it out. It's not that big of a deal. I think you just need to clear it up with him and he made a mistake. We're, I'm playing the tournament. It's just you know, I did I didn't make a practice. I will you know, I'll let him know. What is that? You just all of a sudden you're over him like that? Don't hurt no, his feelings been. like this. He got hair on my leggings. No. Are you, are you hurt by that? I have an appointment. Excuse me. I have me. a spray no. tan right now. Excuse at me, my house. Kylie. This is this is brother. You don't just come over and surprise me and then leave in five, every, like I five would minutes stay later. That's if disrespectful. If my spray tan was at seven. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Do you hear what seven. she's trying to pull here? You're getting a He's spray bite tan at your house. house. At my Biter. house Biter. right now. I'm really pale. Like it's an issue. Life goes on. Vibes. Yeah, I'm really nervous. I'm so nervous. There's so many people. I wish you weren't you for a second. So Wait, is this why my mom was like concerned? There's a lot of pops. This is crazy. <laughs> Look at those cute little tutu outfits. My secret? I want to go in there. Okay. okay I'm really? gonna do this. Okay. I'm really scared. Okay. Fast. This is crazy. Who owns this place? Excuse me? Who works here? So the plan was that we were all gonna fly together to Peru. It was gonna be a one-way, easy flight. And then I get a text from Kylie saying, actually, I'm gonna fly to Miami. Can you ask my mom if the plane can pick me up? This adds five hours of travel time to Chris Jenner's flight. No way. Like, no way I'm gonna ask your mom. Are you kidding? I was terrified of asking Chris. So, you have to help me with this because I'm scared. I think you should ask her. Really? She won't say no to you. Really? Dude. <laughs> okay. I was scared of my mom growing up. She was really scary. She still is scary, but now we, like, have more of a friendship. Okay, Corey. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, Kylie. What? You're both on the phone. So, Kylie, tell us what's going on. They said there's motion detectors breaking, glass breaking, all in the master bedroom. Corey's on his way. They're not going to do anything to your dogs. So, just calm down. We're going to take care of it. Kylie, honey, it's going to be okay. Okay, we'll call you in a few minutes. Okay, so Corey, for real, where are you? I'm rushing down to 101. I'm 14 minutes away tops. Okay, well, don't you think it would be a lot quicker if I just went over there now? I can no. run over there right now, and I'll be there in three minutes. No. You can't even protect yourself. Let me deal with it. Listen, she's I safe. said to you, listen, listen, she's not safe. She is not home. It's been issues with the alarm system, but just in case it's not, you, you stay at home safely. Because I'm the one that know how to defend myself. You do not, so let me handle it. I think what you don't understand is these are my kids, and I'm the only one here in this neighborhood. So if you're really not three or four minutes away, then I'm leaving now. You're not even thinking logically, so just chill out. Don't tell me to chill out. You can't tell somebody when they're having a panic attack to chill out. Calm down. So if you're not there in a couple minutes, then I'm just leaving. Kylie, what are you doing right now? 
right now? We are doing some oxygen. We live in LA, which is below sea level, so when you get to high altitude, it's hard to breathe. You don't get enough oxygen, so this helps you not get migraines, stomach aches, you know, I'm a doctor, so I just know everything, you know. And let's go to the real doctor in the house. <laughs> Dr. Boris. Kylie, one, two. So Kylie's getting oxygen, so she'll feel better. She was kind of feeling mm, not so great. I love this dog, dude. He loves this. It's a little punk. I flaked on grease. One thing I don't know what you be doing. I just was, I was like not feeling myself, like gaining a bunch of weight. Like, it's just frustrating to me that like I'm not happy going out if I'm not in good shape. You know what I mean? Within the next six months, if I don't get some this together, then I won't want to like hang around everybody. You know what I'm saying? And I want to. So my mom doesn't cry and think something bigger is going on when really it's very simple. I let this go and I need to get it back together. That's, and that's you know it. what though? It's all right if it's something bigger. I'm not like depressed, but being depressed is not being wrong. Because that happens. But if you don't take care of yourself, you hurt your relationships no matter what. I've been there where you're just not acting the same and not looking right. a certain way. All this ties in. I came out of it by doing it for myself. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't do it for a clothes. I couldn't do it for the name on the back of my jersey. Right. I had to do it for like just Lamar. Rob, you know, I realized how much he's been through. And as a man, seeing that, I kind of wanted to help. You know, I think it's time for Rob to regain his confidence about himself, about what he's doing, about where he's going. Whatever he needs from me, I'll give it to him. I just want to see him happy. I don't want to see him laying here, you know, on the couch for days. I just can't stand the whole, the females doing their worry stuff. It's like... When I mean, you a man, baby, you're the last Mohican. No, you're I, yeah. Robert Kardashian. Like, what do you expect? What are you most excited to see, though? These are all, like, good friends, but JJ's like family. Is JJ black? No. Uh oh. You're not gonna see any, you're not gonna see any, you're not gonna see any black people. No black people. I'm all the black you need. These are my white friends. Yay! Come on, let's go downstairs. Come on, boom, boom. Hi, guys. I'm honestly a little surprised he actually showed up for this barbecue. I couldn't be happier, and I know that it's gonna be good for him. Every time I see JJ, he'll show me like yeah. the massive amounts of texts that he'll send you that have never been replied, and he's like, I keep trying. Maybe. Ooh. Should I get it? You get it? You can go get it. Yeah. When the doorbell rings, it's just like kind of. I don't know. I just feel like I, I just, I just get real uncomfortable. I can't explain it. This is how I am. All right, these don't, these don't fit. I can't even button them. I'm just telling. I'm just saying. So okay, I have it. another option. It does not fit. I have a lot of different jeans. Like you yeah. can try 20 pairs of jeans on to find one that you like. I mean, everything could be tailored. I mean, everything. I do not want to go to Cannes anyways. Even when I was in the best shape of my entire life, I still had like an insecurity with my weight. <sighs> On top of that, there's paparazzi people who follow me and get pictures of me, and that shuts me down to like not wanting to go out when I'm obviously not feeling my best. I'm not comfortable with my skin. I'm not comfortable with this weight. So I feel like I'm not happy with anything I do right now. I won't wear a suit probably for at least six months. So. Okay, so you feel like suits, yeah. even in can, I'll never for any kind of 
kind of meeting, even a linen? No. I only wear a suit on New Year's, this coming New Year's. Yeah. Okay. Just seems like the point of this was to try and break you out a little it's, bit. It's not you. I just won't be happy, period. So it's just that's just how I am. he texted me and said, is everything okay or something? Did you ever reply to Kim in her email? No. Kim sent my mom, Court, Rob, and I an apology email for the therapy. Rob, I'm sorry if we haven't helped you enough. Chloe, you're right. Make it more about family than business because that's all we have. So, Robbie, let's all sit down and talk about what's your next move and we will pitch in. Chloe, I'm sorry if I invalidate you and your memories. <laughs> you know, the email is just not very sincere, in my opinion. So she kind of just, I feel like, doesn't want to deal with this anymore and just wants to move on. I never responded. I never responded either. She obviously felt really guilty, which is why she emailed us. If you were really, like, saying something from the heart, you would say it to them personally and not give a f about what everyone else thinks. Right. But we were getting along really well for a minute. It's sad that it can't last long. So I was trying to do therapy thinking it would, like, make everyone happy, but I feel like it kind of backfired. <laughs> Rob and China are fighting again. What's the fighting about? I don't know. I mean, are they like tense. She texts some crazy things. He texts her crazy things all night long. He just doesn't want to go to the shower. We have the shower plan for tomorrow for Rob and China, but now they get into this big fight, and we don't know what's going on. He said that he doesn't want to celebrate a shower because this pregnancy has been really bad for him and really awful for him. You guys, mm -hmm. our brother's coming to the shower. That's crazy. So what do we do? I don't know. I feel like we should try to get him to come for mom. If it's for nobody else, it should be for her. She does so much for him. We just really want to do this for Rob, especially my mom. She's so excited to give him presents and just like really like celebrate him. So I think she's definitely not going to take it well if he doesn't show up. Rob, I feel like we have to set up an appointment to see you these days. No, where have you been? Were you um, studying for finals? I haven't seen you in like two weeks. I've been in school and with my, I got a girlfriend now. Wait, you're like official, exclusive and official. When did that happen? I'm very hesitant to bring Adrian around my three sisters. My sisters, they tend to get too involved in my relationships. You guys aren't dress. coming. With Robert, you. we are the people that approve or deny. <laughs> Why are you guys here? You guys just made this so weird. Wait, you're like... Official. Exclusive and official? When did that happen? Do you call each other your girlfriend, boyfriend? Yeah. Are you guys in love? Wait, you're in love? And guys, I got a Stop. tattoo to prove it. You did not get a tattoo. I'll show you. Robert! Rob! <laughs> it's enormous. No one's going to see this. You never take your shirt off? All you do is take your shirt off. You walk around in Calvin Klein's and no shirts all the time. We're like all in shock. Like, is this a joke or something? Our full name is tattooed on him. And we are just like, what are you doing? You're just jealous because I'm in love. Whatever. <laughs> Does she train. have one too? Yeah. So since we don't know Adrian, we decide to get to know her, whether Rob likes it or not. I'm gonna go use the restroom. Pass me that. What are you doing? Let's get Adrian's number. You don't even know her. You're gonna ruin it with him. Why are you gonna call her? I just you know, wanna get you to, to know the her. If he's not introducing us, we need to get to know her ourselves. He's not introducing us. Because I don't know Adrian, I'm just scared that she will hurt him. And like that would just be devastating to all of us. Courtney, you're crazy. Obviously know what happened just based on 
whatever. Social media. Social media. But everything that happened, I'm very happy about. It was something that I was. So, like, did you get on, like, one knee? (laughs) I gave her the ring, and then I got on the knee after. It happened, like, spontaneously. So that's why you guys weren't in the loop, because I was going to do this regardless. I just didn't know when, and it just ended up happening. We want to be honest with you. We felt like we should have just at least got a text and say, hey, guys, I know you're seeing this on social media. It's true. People were asking us, and we were like, we don't even know if it's true. If you guys really were concerned and wanted to know, you guys would have said, is this true? Congratulations, you just got engaged. Obviously, you think I'm just going to post some fake because I'm a media whore? Never in my life. Why would I say congratulations if I don't know if it's true or not? It's the first time I ever proposed to someone in my life. Why would I joke with that? I don't joke with that. We understand, you know. It's a two-way street. You guys could easily have picked up the phone and called me. No, I'm not going to talk to you guys when you guys are in a room with Tyga and on a ski trip. Yeah, you put it on social media. It's not the point. You act like I'm supposed to just call you guys and just say, oh, this and that when you hate this girl. So it's like, but we love you. It's crazy. That's great. And and she makes me happy and she loves me happy and I'm you. happy so and that's we, it. Of course we would be happy for you. But we're allowed to be hurt that you didn't tell okay, us, but we're also but you're allowed why, to do I it in your own way. We see that you're happy and that's all that matters to us really. Like we obviously have tried to get you out of the house for years, you know, and that hasn't worked. And so if it someone just, else yeah. can do that, like we are really, you know, thankful for that. Do you understand that that was hurtful to us that we found out about your yeah, engagement under- on social media? Yes, I understand. I think we just but want I didn't that understand. acknowledged. I, didn't, I wasn't even thinking that at the time. It happened so fast. I get I upset you guys. I get I'm your brother, only brother. You would like to know when something important like this happens. I apologize because I wasn't trying to be rude. So. And then there's one more thing I have to talk to you guys about. I don't want you guys to get mad. Oh my god, I love it. Hello. What are you doing? The jacket, you look like... What do you mean? Is this odd? Yes, this is random. Random? What's that? (coughs) Ew! You went to England, came back with an accent, so will I. Say cheeky. Cheeky? Yeah. Are you cheeky? <laughs> I only like flash, please. You want the flash on? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's much better. Send this to me. I will. How cute. Do blondes have more fun? <laughs> <laughs> I swear it. Do you like it? I like it a lot. Robbie. <laughs> what are you smiling for? Because it's my license picture that I didn't want to. I don't want to see. That I, that I wore see. a hat, so I'm like. <laughs> like it's so Why'd you bad. wear a hat? Because I just wanted to get it over with. No, but you know you can't wear a hat in your picture. No, I know. I just didn't care because I'm going to go back there and retake the picture when I'm feeling, when I'm feeling better. Oh my, you gotta get out of here. What? <laughs> Kimberly? What? what? Or how much are you? I know, the neighbor did kind of look at me like. You literally look like Rob. Yeah, I did they probably like think like Rob for paid for you. Second. <laughs> like, Kim, I literally just dropped my jaw when I saw you from. <laughs> wow. Chill out. It wasn't a bad wow. Anyway. What's going on? How's everything on the home front? I mean, it's been tough. It's really just, it takes either one person to man up. Obviously, that's going to have to be me. But at the same time, I'm not going to argue with the female. We had a good talk the other night, so we'll see. I'm the one who said arguments are normal. It's going to happen. Okay, but at that second it happened, I took it seriously, and I took it to heart. Because you're sensitive. I don't even, I don't know. You have to worry about Rob and how you could be strong and better for you and now your baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Don't you want to get your I do. My plan is not to have a kid with somebody and not be with the person. That's just bizarre to me. I know Rob and China have a long way to go, but I'm really happy that they are working things out. Relationships are hard. 
no matter what. And as long as Rob is trying and starts really engaging and communicating, that's all I could ask for, but he has to figure it out and this is like baby steps to his life.